Today, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to safely control a 220-volt AC contactor using a 24-volt DC proximity sensor. Since the sensor outputs 24 volts, it cannot directly control the 220-volt AC contactor. That's why we need to add a DC 24-volt interposing relay in between. The proximity sensor first controls the relay, and then the relay's contacts are used to control the contactor coil. Now let's look at the wiring. For power connections, connect the neutral wire from the circuit breaker to the 24-volt switching PSU's neutral terminal, and the live wire to the live terminal. The proximity sensor we are using is a PNP type. It has three wires. Brown is connected to plus 24 volts from the power supply. Blue is connected to zero volt. Black is the signal wire, connected to relay coil terminal 14. The other side of the relay coil, terminal 13, goes back to zero volt. When the relay coil is energized, its normally open contacts close. On this relay, terminals 9 and 5 are the normally open contacts. We wire terminal 9 to the live wire and terminal 5 to contactor coil A2. Meanwhile, contactor coil A1 goes to the neutral wire. With this setup, the relay safely controls the live wire that powers the contactor coil. Power it up. When the proximity sensor detects a metal object, it outputs 24 volts. The relay clicks, sending live current into the contactor coil, and the contactor engages. Move the object away, and the circuit breaks, turning off the contactor. Need all these components? Or for complete industrial automation solutions? Find them all at ATO.com.